Hello, this issue of Fight or Flight will be focusing on the effects that epinephrine and norepinephrine have on the heart. This submission was written and directed by Lauren Mordhorst. Epinephrine and norepinephrine are responsible for the body's fight or flight response. These hormones in response to a life-threatening stimulus are released by the adrenal medulla and cardioaccelatory center. They have many effects on the body as a whole, but have a very significant effect on the heart. First, we're going to take a look at the cardiac tissue on the cellular level in order to understand exactly how these two hormones play such a significant role. When epinephrine and norepinephrine come into contact with a cardiac tissue cell, they bind to beta-1 adrenergic receptors on the cell membrane. Beta-1 adrenergic receptors are a type of metabotropic receptor, which is a receptor that deals with the secondary messenger system. These receptors primarily respond to catecholines. This binding then triggers the activation of a heterotrimeric G protein. A heterotrimeric G protein contains three subunits, alpha, beta, and gamma. Each have their own role, and in the case of epinephrine and norepinephrine binding, the alpha subunit is in charge. Now that the G protein is activated, it still requires energy to move and do its job. When GTP replaces GDP, it gives the G protein the energy that is needed, and as a result, the alpha subunit is able to break away. The alpha subunit then goes and activates adenylocyclase. Adenylocyclase, which is a catalyst, speeds up the conversion of ATP to cyclic AMP. Cyclic AMP then activates protein kinase A, which causes a flood of calcium into the cell. Protein kinase A does this in three ways. It opens T-type calcium ion channels, releases stored calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum, and causes phosphorylation. Phosphorylation adds a phosphate to the myosin heads, or in other words, quickens the actin and myosin binding, causing more muscle contraction. As a result, the sinoatrial node, which contains pacemaker cells that determine the heartbeat, sends electrical signals quicker to the atrioventricular node. And because of all this, the heart rate is able to increase. In a normal graph measuring membrane potential in pacemaker cells, depolarization and hyperpolarization are longer than when epinephrine and norepinephrine are in the system. The reason why the graph appears like this is due to the funny ion channels on the pacemaker cell membrane. They leak sodium into the cell causing spontaneous depolarization. When epinephrine and norepinephrine reach the heart, the amount of time it takes for these cells to depolarize decreases, thus showing an increase in heart rate during sympathetic activation. When epinephrine and norepinephrine stimulation decrease, an enzyme called phosphodiesterase stops the process by turning off cyclic AMP. This causes a decrease in heart rate. That's the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it.